money laundering in Iraq. In the most strange and surprising announcement, the Central Bank of Iraq, on September 13, 2020, denies the existence of systematic money laundering in Iraq. Is this true? The answer, without hesitation, is no. From here and their channel. In the current year 2020, the European Union Commission decided to continue keeping Iraq in the revised list of high-risk countries on money laundering and terrorist financing. Iraq is listed since July 2016, which means that Iraq poses a threat to the financial system of the European Union countries. The Iraqi Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Finance moved a little to end this file without results, while the central bank remained silent about it. Iraq has failed to deal with this file in a professional manner. There are specific requirements and standards that Iraq must adhere to before asking the authorities to remove its name from this list. The Anti-Money Laundering Office, the Central Bank of Iraq, and the Iraqi government must clarify the following cases of corruption and currency smuggling, before issuing such statements. 1. One of the cases of financial corruption is the insistence to continue, with the same mechanism, with the notorious currency auction, which has continued from 2006 until now. Specialists have warned about its corruption the a lot. The auction allows money laundering in a large amount, as it is noticed that the amount of imports into Iraq is less than the value of money transfers, so what is the fate of the rest of the sums that go outside Iraq under the pretext of import, but they disappear without the entry of any imports. 2. Where does the custom money from the border's ports go, in addition to the unofficial ports and the suspicious transactions taking place in all of them? This forced the head of the interim government formed in 2020 to assign the counter-terrorism force to extend the state's influence over them, in a measure that some consider a mere show. 3. Where does the money of drug trafficking, theft and smuggling of oil that are widespread in Iraq, some of which are announced from time to time, go? Isn't that considered money laundering? 4. Where does the money for bribes, commissions, projects and fictitious investments go? 5. In just one corruption operation, which is the appointment of more than 100,000 person in the Ministry of Electricity against the law, without financial cover and without a real need, corrupt politicians and influential people took bribes in hundreds of millions of dollars, up to half a billion dollars, by calculating the value of one bribe declared by some MPs. Where did this dirty money end up, knowing that corrupt influential people do not usually keep the money that they plunder inside the country? How does this money get out? 6. Where did the payers of bribes in the previous paragraph get hard currency of this size, if the only source of hard currency in Iraq is the central bank? 7. Just the difference between the value of the official conversion of the currency auction and the value in the market, with the exception of other methods of corruption, exceeds $1 billion annually. How this large amount is whitened. 8. Where does the money for the ghost employees go? 9. Why there are no final accounts for the ministries, provinces, and the Kurdistan region? 10. Where do the oil and custom money of Kurdistan region go and how much are they, and how is the money transferred to it from Baghdad spent? 11. One of the manifestations of lack of transparency, is that no one from the Central Bank of Iraq or other officials has addressed a word to the people, explaining what are the reasons that caused the European Commission not to remove Iraq from the blacklist. 12. Why is the blacklisting of Iraq is not clearly indicated on the Central Bank of Iraq page? 13. How are the officials assigned to the Central Bank, the anti-money laundering offices and other sensitive departments, and were efficiency standards followed in this? 14. And last but not least, how much are the salaries of the officials and what are their privileges that they have legislated for themselves and are this in conformity with international treaties and standards of transparency? Even more bizarre is the silence of the United States, the controller of dollar transfers, about corruption of their allies in Iraq. So what is the price? 
the Anti-Money Laundering Office should work hard to fulfill its role instead of being busy publishing congratulations to the central bank governor on their official page in a manner similar to the work of institutions in totalitarian regimes. Wait for other videos on the Central Bank of Iraq from this channel. From here and their channel.